Yo, son, we having mad fun. We in Manhattan and our work is done. We drink a hot cocoa, it's tasting real good. Everybody's mad cause they still in the hood. Time to get out, you really wish you could. So go make that money and do what you should. America's waiting, I know you coming soon. I'm looking out for you, I believe in you. <laughs> Classic. Thank you. Y'all mean, son? showcase family in this industry mm -hmm. uh, people um, say it's lonely at the top but I think it's important that wherever I go that my family comes with me mm -hmm. um, so my brother and I took the concept um, from let freedom reign mm -hmm. um, about revamping the, the, the idea behind um, freedom in America mm -hmm. and love that brother is how how do you love your brother in this country mm -hmm. um, with, with with all the differences and, and, and ideas, Democrats versus Republican versus what does that even mean? Mm -hmm. Can we just love each other? Right. Uh, there's struggles everywhere we look. Um, can we just care about each other? There are people hungry. Can we just feed each other? Um, and then it was also my way to give back to the people who fed who fed me and who have fed my cause and my mm -hmm. movement um, and my ministry. So mm -hmm. uh, love that brother was my way of showing love to uh, the fans. And to my actual brother. Right. And uh, this is a great prelude, I feel, to the actual album, which is coming out in this month, mm -hmm. Let Freedom Reign. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's, from, from just the one I gathered, it's definitely a story of, you know, you loving again and you being able to kind of take this this next step from the previous album, Epiphany, mm -hmm. which was sort of... Well, it was mad. Yeah. <laughs> good therapy music. It was definitely good, you know, hey, I'm going through this. This is what it's all about. So talk about this transition for you. Um, essentially, you know, you are taking a, a different uh, voice in this particular album. Talk about the voice that you have and kind of just the feel of it so people can, you know, kind of understand what this Let Freedom Reign is all about. My favorite part of this whole entire endeavor are the people in the audience. Those people are the most incredible people because they are so honest and so candid. When they sing Blame It On Me back at, at me, they are mad at their ex. They are over it. They are getting over their relationships. They just got a new pair of shoes to come to the show, and they look good, and they are sick and tired of foolishness. <laughs> Let Freedom Reign is for those people mm -hmm. who say, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I can't be stuck in a stupid relationship. Mm -hmm. This is our time to uh, be free again uh, and love again. Okay. Now, I've heard that this album is... Uh, called or the, the feel of it is, is rock soul right if i'm correct uh what is rock soul it kind of elaborate on that because you know we know soul we know rock but the the kind of coming together of those two things what is that i am a girl who was raised way out in the boondocks on long island there were eight black kids in my school mm -hmm. um, sounds like my story but sounds like your story <laughs> sounds like a lot of our story right um and so uh Third Eye Blind were the band that I listened to. Um, Counting Crows, uh, Gwen Stefani, Billy Joel, and rock stars. It's the beginning of me loving music. Uh, skateboards and surfboards, etc. Um, and so then I fell in love with hip hop. And when I fell in love with it, I mean, I fell in love. And it was, it was those drums. And then um, telling your story on top of those drums that mm -hmm. just spoke to me. Uh, and then I just had this raspy voice. I don't know why. Right, right, I asked right. For it, but it's just soulful by itself. Mm -hmm. And I merged those three things together and decided to title it Rock Soul. Okay. Now, talking about rock and soul, I mean, another thing that I also discovered, um, just kind of gathering information, was that you're also rapping on this upcoming album? Mm -hmm. Now talk about this. Where did you draw from when you decided, hey, I'm going to spit some lyrics? I mean, you have some really great features. I know um, Talib Khalid, right? Uh, Drake, Rick Ross, you know, and, and, the, and the names go on, Black Thought. So... Talk about, I mean, those are great mentors, teachers, people that we can draw from as far as hip-hop, but where did you draw from, and uh, should we be ready for a, a rap album from <laughs> well, anytime soon? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just too, preparing that, myself. Unfortunately, Drake couldn't make the 
album. Oh, he fit, okay. Two Day, which is okay. I adore him. If right. You know already. Um, from the mixtape on out. Okay. Um, but yeah, I always rapped. Um, when I first got to Def Jam, I played the piano. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to show them the rap side of me. Um, and Jay Jay Z was one of the CEOs here, so it's kind of scary showing Jay Z your, your, your P's and Q's. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not gonna do right. that. Right. I can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on you know something he you know he doesn't do, which is singing <laughs> for now. Then you know when I get warmed up, right. rap for me is the easiest way to really express myself because you can say so much. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to sing it; it doesn't have to be pretty. You don't have to sugarcoat it with a, a beautiful it's grittier. Mm -hmm. So you get to say it. You get to be mm -hmm. upset mm -hmm. or happy. Right, right, right. Okay. Now, of course, you know, talking more so about Chrisette and and the way that you evolved. Talk about just the evolution, if you can, of from where you were with your first album and where you are today. Not only in the musical standpoint, but just in yourself. Because I think a lot of women can look at you and say, she's been through this different sides. You know, she's been through the breakup, she's been through the ups, downs, whatnot. Talk about the evolution of Chrisette Michelle. You know, my musical um, side hasn't changed from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm still the same person there. Um, I'm just showing a little bit uh, of my multifaceted self. Mm -hmm. um, so I just turned around a little bit. Right. See a new angle. Um, but now I'm not afraid to make a fool out of myself. I'm not afraid to shave my head. I'm not afraid to wear skinny jeans and not be skinny. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> That's not comfortable for me. I'm not afraid of the red carpet. I'm not afraid of um, people's opinions. And I was. I was petrified. I put on my first album. I didn't go to any red carpet events. I didn't want to be seen at red carpet events. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if people were going to like me. Mm -hmm. Then we put out the second record. As soon as the album came out, I took a vacation. I left. I left. I could. I didn't want to see anybody. But if they, what if they don't like it? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This time, I don't care. It's not about if they like it or not. It's about if I said what I needed to say. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned, um, you know, it's kind of like this freedom, you know, when it comes to who you are. Um, and obviously, there's going to be people that may may or may not understand that. Talk about some of the misconceptions because again, you know, I'm I'm sure you're aware that there's been constant conversation about black women in regards to their hair, the way they look, body image, so on and so forth. What don't people get about Chrisette Michelle? What they don't get about Chrisette is that I'm not an angry person. I'm not a uh, super duper serious person um, who takes uh, everything to, to to the point where um, I'm not an active citizen. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to be an active citizen in America. I think it's important to open up your mouth and say what you think. Mm -hmm. I think it's silly to stay angry at society to the point where you are disabled. I say that the same ropes that hang us can be the same ropes that pull us through. Mm -hmm. I think that we can take our lemons and turn them into lemonade. Um, and that's what I'm doing with Let Freedom Reign. Okay. Uh, politics can exist in Let Freedom Reign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that's a very eloquent answer. And I, and I think that... I practiced it. Right. <laughs> very, I, I love the, the political feel of it. Talk of, And on the note of political politics, um, how do you feel hip-hop has um, sort of navigated through the world of politics? Do you feel that it has? Or w where do you feel? Because I feel like you have strong points on that, and I think it would be good for you to share that. Hip-hop is one of the largest um, avenues for uh, us to express ourselves. I adore hip-hop because it is its own party. There's the Republicans, Democrats, and it's hip-hop. There's rock. Mm -hmm. There's hip-hop. You say what you you say what's happening in your community with hip hop. Mm -hmm. You tell the truth of your streets in hip hop, and you're not ashamed of it. You're not embarrassed of it. You don't apologize for it because it's your reality. Mm -hmm. And if you say it, and you get put on that radio, and the government hears it, they mm -hmm. listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got angry just now. <laughs> <laughs> I love hip hop. Right, right. Now you know, just talking a little bit about what you love, hip hop. Um, you, you've had the opportunity to work with, I guess you can say, a lot of trendsetters, a lot of people who are influential. Talk about um, your, I guess, connections and what we can see within the next few years as far as you kind of 
emerging or not even merging but kind of tying in some of more of the hip hop elements that we're seeing you tie in I have this beautiful person in my family named Lim Payne mm -hmm. and a couple of others uh, Janelle we call her Lucci Nello Lucci mm -hmm. who I think are going to be the next voices in hip hop I think hip hop is taking a little bit of a spin because um, America is different America is right. changing um, so there are brown skinned kids all across the country who feel like they're going to be able to be the CEOs of big businesses, who feel like millionaire is a possibility, who feel like uh, kids going to college is a possibility. Um, so these new voices in hip-hop are people who I want to support and who I want to celebrate because there's a new voice um, that's about to come from hip-hop that is uh, one of uh, education um, and taking advantage of this, this country, taking advantage of college, taking advantage of scholarships, taking advantage of the, the freedoms and mm -hmm. the liberties that we've been given in America to make America a better place. Right. Are you in any way, I mean, I'm sure that you're aware of some of the things that probably are out there with artists that maybe don't take up that responsibility. Is there any disappointment in those artists that don't necessarily prove, make use of the platform that they have? Social responsibility is important to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's important to everybody, but it's certainly important to me. I never want to decide who should do what. Okay. That's not, I never feel like that is um, uh, my right. I can't tell anybody what they should do. I do know that um, I find it important mm -hmm. to make sure that what's coming out of my mouth and what's on my body and what I put out into the atmosphere um, should be responsible. Okay. And then finally, I know we have to go, um, but, you know, I know that you do have a, a fancy for the, the acting and... Oh, uh, I just want to say athletes! Uh, <laughs> on the idea of acting, um, will we see you in, in those visuals more so? Yeah. I'm totally against doing, like, what you're supposed to do all the time. So this year, I'm going out on the road and I'll be um, in a musical that will be traveling around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, so check out this is ChrisetteMichelle.com. Uh, check out my Twitter, uh, ChrisetteM. Uh, and check out DefJam.com because uh, I will be coming to a theater near you okay. uh, as an actress. All right. And do we have the, the name of the... I do, but my mom said I'm not supposed to say all the details. Either. Okay. All right. Okay. So just check out check out the website <laughs> and you'll hear more about it. But All it's right. gonna be really fun and very colorful. Here goes nothing.